Hello friends, welcome to this short and introductory video on the metal casting process. In this series, we will discuss everything on casting uh, process in a series of short videos. So let us start. So what is a metal casting? Well, uh, metal casting is a process of manufacturing where we take raw materials, mel melt them in a furnace and pour the molten metal in a mold cavity. And when the molten metal gets solidified in the cavity, we uh, get the final casting. So metal casting is, a, is actually a primary manufacturing process where we get the first basic uh, shape of a product. After a casting, we can uh, do subsequent secondary op op operations on the product like uh, machining, for example, uh, turning, drilling, grinding, all these things you can do on the product to improve its features. Okay. Now to make product of any shape by casting, we need something called pattern. This pattern is, is an uh, exact replica of the metal part that we want to manufacture. For example, if I want to have an aluminum casting of this shape, what I need, I first need to make a wooden pattern uh, of, a, of the same size and dimensions. So similarly, if I need to create a metal part of this shape, I first uh, have to ma uh, make a pattern of these uh, these two shapes. Okay. Now, if uh, yeah, if I want to create this dumbbell shape metal part, first I will place the wooden pattern of this part inside a wooden box. This box is also called as flask. And uh, then the main part. I have to pour sand from all sides and create a stuffing of sand by ramming around uh, around the pattern. Now, once when sufficient ramming has been done, the flask is turned upside down and the pattern is pulled out of the sand. The question is, why have we done this? Well, uh, we did this to get this small cavity. This is the cavity. This is exactly where we will uh, pour the molten metal that is the aluminium, molten, <coughs> molten aluminium in this case and then we will allow it to solidify and soon we will get the desired shape after it has solidified okay so now let us try to visualize this entire process with an uh, animation first we take raw materials let us say um, aluminium and then uh, we, we put uh, all these materials in a furnace now when we start hitting the furnace the temperature increases and aluminium starts to melt now this is one section on the other section of the foundry we will now see how to prepare a mold cavity okay so first i will take a wooden box also known as the flask and keep the pattern of the desired shape inside it and then i'll start uh, pouring sand now after some time when the sand has been tightly compacted what i'll do i will uh, invert the box and pull the pattern out like this now this gives us the cavity when the pattern is pulled out uh, a, a small cavity has, will be obtained now i bring some molten metal from the furnace and pour it in the cavity and allow it to solidify now once it has been solidified uh, we can break the mold and we will get the final metal part now one difficulty arises during the casting of complicated objects well, what is the difficulty uh, suppose we want to create a very simple product such as this so all we need is a simple pattern that replicates this shape now this kind uh, this kind of simple patterns are called single piece patterns now the problem arises when we have to create a more complicated shape such as this uh, a, a single piece pattern cannot create uh, the cavity of this shape it is because while uh, pulling it out of the uh, uh, out of the sand the mold will break okay so a far better uh, option is to go for split piece pattern here the pattern is split into two parts and we use two flasks okay the upper part is called cope and the lower part is called drag okay so one half of the pattern goes in the cope and the other ha other part goes inside uh, inside the drag and finally the molten metal is poured in a hole cut in the sand also known as the pouring cup this hole is known as the pouring cup and it flows into the cavity through a gating system now what is a gating system i will explain uh, this thing in subsequent lectures okay 
so finally here is the summary of the lecture first uh, in metal casting what we have to do we have to take some raw materials and then we have to put it uh, in a furnace and melt it then uh, we fetch the molten metal uh, from the furnace and pour it in a cavity and uh, this is allowed to solidify for some time and finally once it has been solidified we can break the mold and get our part so this was uh, all for today in the subsequent lectures we will uh, go deep inside the metal casting process we will uh, try to understand all the technicalities of this process so in case of any doubt please feel free to ask in the comment section and keep watching these videos thank you